Tottenham Hotspur. They continue to fly high at the top of the table. It's been brilliant to see Janish, but can they maintain this form? Well, I think for the time being, absolutely. I, I, I think if Human Song continues to do what he does, I, I think there's a real belief in the team with the new manager. And that happens. Of course, everybody's kind of waiting for them uh, uh, to drop points to see what the reaction is going to be because there's still a lot of new players. There's some young players. Um, and, and now I think they have Chelsea at home uh, uh, in the next game. So that will be a test, no matter what you think of Chelsea and them, of course, dropping uh, points at Stamford Bridge to, to Brentford. Uh, my big question will be, look, I think from what I see, a uh, real contender for the top four. I don't think that's going to be a title contender because I continue, just as, as everybody, I continue to say that Manchester City, which they've proven against uh, even United, as bad as they have been as of late. My one question will be, if Son doesn't score goals, who will? Because I don't know. Because Kulusevsky is not a goal scorer. We all know that. hasn't Historically, hasn't shown that. We know Richarlison has been struggling. And um, doesn't seem to me that all of a sudden he's going to wake up and score goals uh, consistently, even if you put him at, uh, as a center forward, which in the absence of Son, he would be there. So I think that's a massive question for Spurs. Because, uh, you know, here we are. We'll talk about it maybe a little bit later, too. Uh, you know, are they better or worse? Harry Kane, this or that. But think about that. In the past, when one was off, there was one scoring consistently. Let's not forget Human Son and his last season. Now it's Human Son. He's benefited from the fact that Harry Kane's left. But if he's not there, then I'd have a major question about Spurs. So you're continuing to say that they are not better off without, uh, without Harry Kane? Yeah, which is, of course, nonsense. Uh, I'm sure that Andrew would say that uh, uh, right away. I mean, dynamics are different. I think the roles may have changed and we would have to trust in Ange Postecoglou because he's pulled all the right strengths. Uh, and, and I think everybody would benefit because, as I said, why not have two strikers? I mean, uh, the teams the teams that are doing well in Premier League, we all know Erling Haaland uh, scoring consistently. You look at Liverpool, the front three, four or five, whatever you want to call them, whoever's playing, scoring goals. I look at Aston Villa and Unai Emery who at times we call the defensive-minded manager, uh, um, Ali Watkins and, and you know, host of other players that are contributing to that team. And then we have Manchester United and we have Chelsea's that are struggling uh, scoring. So you tell me that uh, uh, Ench Postecoglou wouldn't find a way to, uh, to integrate uh, Harry Kane into it. Harry Kane, who, by the way, how many goals he's got at Bayern Munich right now? How many seasons is that that he's been scoring? So... Of course, uh, I, I hope uh, that nobody questions that. He can't stop scoring. But what is it about this collective that you like that's really ticking under Ange Postecoglou? Obviously, the manager is a massive part of it. What else is it that stood out to you? I just think it's his personality. Uh, I think uh, the message of saying that we want to attack, we want to have fun, we you know something that Spurs players... Uh, uh, had under Mauricio Pochettino those two or three years where they're in the final of the Champions League and pushing uh, at the top of the Premier League as well. Uh, and and I think the moment that, you know, the likes of Mourinho and, and Antonio Conte came in, you kind of uh, playing the football that you don't want to play. You're playing the football that uh, uh, fans don't want to watch. Uh, and we've said it, if they deliver, because Mourinho and Conte are serial winners, if they deliver, then I suppose nobody cares how you did it. <music>